Thanks to our sponsor, this episode of Crazy Fitness Got a Healthy Living Podcast was created using Podcastle. Podcastle is truly the easiest way to start your podcast. You can record remote interviews in studio quality sound. Editing is a breeze with a super intuitive and user friendly audio editor. You can take advantage of their powerful AI tools like Magic Dust to optimize audio levels and remove background noise with just one, with just a single click. And I also use this park, use podcast to automatically transcribe my episodes, which not only lets me share the final transcript with all of you, my listeners on different channels, but it even allows me to use their text editor to clean, to clean up my, any of the episode content I don't like, and I'll correspondingly edit the audio accordingly. Podcast is amazing, all in one platform to create your podcast or any audio and video content. Give it a try at podcastle.ai. That is podcastle.ai. Do you like Crazy Fitness Guy and want us to stay in business? Consider becoming a subscriber to Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast. By becoming a premium podcast subscriber, you will be helping support our mission, which is to help educate people about autism and change their perspective so that they can look at it as a, a unique gift instead of a disease that needs to be cured. At Crazy Fitness Guy, there is only me, a.k.a. Jimmy Clare. I am what you call an indie podcaster, meaning there is no company backing Crazy Fitness Guy. So in other words, if I, so if I run out of money, there would be no more crazyfitnessguy.com. By becoming a premium podcast subscriber, you will get these exclusive benefits like ad-free content, so you do not have to listen to ads like this one anymore. Behind the scenes access, you will get sneak peek previews of upcoming shows, and you will get early access to episodes before it's released worldwide. Crazy Fitness Guys Premium Podcast has been featured over nine plus countries around the world. So just think about that. If you like these exclusive benefits, Go to crazyfinscott.com slash support for more information. I hope you will consider su- supporting me and Crazy Fin the Sky for years to come. Thank you f- for your generous support over the years. It means a lot to me. Thank you. This is a Crazy Fitness Guy Healthy Living podcast that promotes healthy living through autistic eyes. Please welcome your host Jimmy Clare who is a motivational speaker, autism advocate, author, and founder of crazyfitnessguy.com. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast so you will get notified of every new episode. Now let's get started. There are so many ads these days wherever you go. There are ads in movie theaters, on TV, on radio, and on billboards. So why would you want to listen to ads in a podcast? Subscribe to the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast to get these exclusive benefits. Listen ad-free. Behind-the-scenes access. Access to our free Facebook community. And so much more. Become a premium member for only $5 per month. To learn more about the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast, go to crazyfitnessguy.com slash healthy living podcast or click on the premium podcast link in the show notes. Now let's get back to the show. Is it Margaret? Yes. Uh, just didn't want to pronounce it wrong. Whoops. Uh, and she's going to be talking about her business, uh, her lifestyle, and how she started living a healthy life. So welcome uh, aboard to this crazy podcast. Yeah, thank you for having me, Jimmy. My pleasure. Um, So tell me a little bit about yourself. So I am a health and fitness coach who on top of that does a bunch of other things, kind of a jack of all trades to an extent. Um, Very much like to do a bunch of different things and expand my horizons, but fitness and health and wellness are always what I come back to in the end. 
that sounds about that sounds like about me too. Uh, I've uh, jumped around four majors in college, and yeah. uh, even though I'm not in the health and wellness industry anymore, uh, majoring in it, I'm still take. I still like to learn about it. My whole uh, Flipboard newsfeed is all about health and wellness. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I just called every single topic, and it's like there's still more topics. It's like. How can I, it doesn't run out. <laughs> exactly, exactly. There's always new stuff. Uh, so what made you want to, uh, uh, tell me a little bit about, about your business. So my business is Guts and Gains Wellness. It was, it's been a long time coming. I have been on and off health coaching and being in that fitness industry for about two years now. So it, I was very much struggling to figure out my niche and it hit me that I should really be doing what got me into health and fitness to begin with. I, for years, had been struggling with gastrointestinal issues and being overweight as a result and all the other problems that go along with it, but found some resources within health and wellness that for myself made the difference and got rid of most of my symptoms and started digging into them because I was intrigued but it also worked for me and I was like why didn't I know about this for the last 10 years that I was dealing with this problem um so I wanted to start kind of promoting that to other people and educating them that there are alternatives and ways to alleviate those problems and so found some courses found some certifications started digging in started getting accreditations so that I could start learning how to help people in that field. And at the same time, also found a group fitness class I enjoyed taking and then signed up to become an instructor. And it boosted my confidence tenfold. I had never been that confident person. I was the shy person who would be in the back of a fitness class if I went at all. Uh, and it very much forced me to obviously be front and center in the room and talking to everybody and helped me grow in both passion and being able to speak to other people and really push myself beyond my comfort zone. That sounds exactly like me. <laughs> uh, I actually, uh, that's how I felt when, when I started karate uh, years ago. I, I was trying to even start uh, uh, going on the mat myself. My sensei had to drag me on the mat. Uh, I look like a, I basically sounded like a little, like a baby back then, and he just like dragged me on the mat. It's like, and it's like you'll have fun, and it's like I'm scared as hell. And it's like, come on, it's like nothing's gonna happen to you. And it's like, well, uh, until me, but, uh, yeah. and, but then, uh, and then I started in, uh, public speaking in front of, uh, I haven't spoken to, I spoke to like 15 people in front of people and then uh and then i spoke to like the yesterday was my 11th podcast interview and mm -hmm. uh and then uh apparently uh, somebody invited me to a virtual uh convention to speak at that so and okay. they said that there's gonna be like a big audience it's like don't screw yeah. up with me yeah no I, pressure yeah i i completely understand that yesterday i had to record for one of a convention like that. And the convention won't happen until January, but I had to record my piece yesterday and like trying to make it look nice and look like I actually had everything completely together. Cause this week I spent this week and last week putting all of the speech together. Cause it was an hour long presentation. Jeez. So a lot of material and end result, I ended up speaking only 45 minutes, but it was full of information. So it's fine. I'm kind of, mine is at December 5th. And Thanks to our sponsor to make this podcast happen. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make podcasts. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listeners. It's everything you, you need to make a podcast in one place. 
download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, it only takes about five to 10 minutes to set up. It's simple, easy, and the best part, it's free. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today to just create your own podcast. Nice. And it sounds like it's, it's actually live and they do it right then and there. It's like, don't screw up, Jimmy, whatsoever. The whole world pretty much going to watch her. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no pressure. Well, you got plenty of time to prepare. And yeah. you can just put your whole speech or at least your talking points into a teleprompter, like a free one online, and you're good to go. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's what I did. Uh, maybe she can send me a link to the teleprompter because... Uh, just Google free teleprompter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, what kind of, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of uh, uh, problems did, uh, what kind of health and wellness problems did you have when you first yeah. started? So I had obviously gastrointestinal issues was the root of all of my issues. I'm obvious, I still deal with them today. They're a hundred times better. I barely notice them anymore, but they're still like lingering problems. Uh, some of the things it caused, ridiculous gas, uh, I could clear a room very easily, uh, bloating. I was very tired all the time. I had brain fog to the point where I was, I, I would show up to classes and not be conscious. Like someone could talk to me. I had no recollection that they talked to me because I was kind of like a walking zombie, honestly, due to that brain fog, uh, irregular bowel movements, uh, bad acne, skin problems, poor sleep. It was really a bunch of different things that honestly all are usually rooted in poor gut health. So for me, it was, and then that weight gain that I could, I could literally, I swore, swear, look at something and gain weight and never be able to get any weight off. Um, so it was very much a journey of learning why my gut was so upset and what things were causing this and causing all these problems because Prior to that, me looking for answers, I wasn't really addre addressing the problem. I was sometimes avoiding causes. Like in high school, I usually skipped breakfast or lunch or both uh, because they would make the brain fog worse. And so I, if I didn't eat the meal, I wouldn't sleep through my classes. But I've learned that it was certain foods that were causing the problem now is what I've learned. Uh, I, I, I can relate with the uh, acne part because uh, I used to eat a lot of unhealthy food, uh, not, not because like my parents promoted unhealthy food or anything, yeah. but uh, I just like, I really liked all the junk food <laughs> and yeah. I had like a really bad acne and of course my brother had to say something uh, mm -hmm. and, and my, because you know how brothers are, they just kind of just just like to break your shoes and yeah. he's just like Jimmy you have like a big rash on your side of your face and it's like well thanks that's my acne I appreciate <laughs> that yeah and now it's really funny uh I hope he doesn't listen to this podcast but um <laughs> uh uh but now he's asking me for advice of how to clear up one's face yeah. I'm, I'm not making it personal about him though but uh he's gonna kill me for that later but Oh, well, okay. it was well worth it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it is funny how now that you learn all these things, people come to ask you for advice instead of the other way around. I like it that way. Yeah, so do I. Not too bad they can't pay me for it. <laughs> if I was like, oh, I'll just Google it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, how long has, has your business been up and running for? I have had the business up and running for about a year now. It is growing slowly, but I'm okay with that because I'm still in school. I'm still studying. I work almost full time doing some other things. So I'm growing it slowly and then those other things will start to lessen as the business will take off. But I'm really uh, working on gaining more clients, gaining more connections through things like podcasting or just being present on social media as well as I live in a beautiful nature-filled area with a lot of 
open air venues and due to the pandemic and everything right now, our gyms and fitness classes and stuff are very, very limited just based on restrictions. So I'm in the process of working with a lot of these local venues to offer like outdoor fitness classes and things like that so that there is more opportunity. I do a lot of uh, uh, beach by on demand. Uh, gotcha. I haven't been to a gym probably like four or five years now. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is, uh, I got tired of driving to the gym and uh, I might not be any, like lazy or anything, but like time I get to the gym, it, it's like, okay, I already lost like 20 minutes in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not even 20 minutes, I'm gonna, I was to say 15 minutes. And, uh, and all of, and, and sometimes you, what the equipment you want to use, somebody's already using it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, this is throws them off my night. And it's like, so I came here, somebody's already using the stuff I wanted to use. And I was like, gee, I could do basically the same thing I do at a gym in my own house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do a mix, especially, um, so gyms here only opened back up about a month ago. So they were closed for about six months. And now if you want to be at the gym and work out there, you have to wear a mask for everything. And personally, I don't want to do that. While I'm working out, I get too overheated because I usually do higher intensity work at the gym with equipment. So I thankfully have treadmill weights. I just got a spin bike yesterday. Uh, so I have a, equipment here that I can use and want to use. So I do a mix, uh, a little bit at the gym usually, uh, often after I'm done with a shift there, which is usually the only main reason I go. Um, and then the rest of it's often at home or outside somewhere in the area. That's, how, uh, that's what I do with uh, karate. I, I do three days of karate and then I do, uh, and then I do uh, uh, three days of beach body on demand. Okay. And, my karate, uh, they, they've been open for like a few months now. And uh, I did, uh, the reason I haven't gone back yet because one, uh, my parents are in the, uh, in the middle of moving, uh, trying to okay. sell the house. And I'm gonna have to eventually move to my shore house. And so I was like, well, I can't keep, I can't keep going back and forth. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, and plus, we can't spar with anyone. We can't work with anyone. So yeah. and just only at our own punching bags and say. There are so many ads these days wherever you go. There are ads in movie theaters, on TV, on radio, and on billboards. So why would you want to listen to ads in a podcast? Subscribe to the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast to get these exclusive benefits. Listen ad-free behind the scenes access, access to our free Facebook community, and so much more. Become a premium member for only $5 per month. To learn more about the Crazy Fitness Guy premium podcast, go to crazyfitnessguy.com slash healthy living podcast or click on the premium podcast link in the show notes. Now let's get back to the show. I'll just go get a punching bag in my own house. Yeah, it, that definitely makes it a little harder and less fun. Um, yeah, and I'm not saying yeah. like uh, like uh, I I only did karate just to uh, work with somebody, but mm -hmm. as like I'll, I'll just stay on Zoom classes at the moment. Yeah, yeah, completely. I mean, I miss so with teaching group fitness classes. I'm used to saying seeing those same people a couple times a week normally when I teach, and lately i haven't i've taught one time since we've opened back up and i was just substi a substitute for someone else and it's not the same <laughs> i'm i miss because i keep up the fitness by practicing the class pieces at mm -hmm. home but it's not the same when i'm not with participants for sure do you think uh in your opinion do you think uh stuff will ever go back the same I, I have honestly no clue. I have faith that it will, but I mean that I, I, I truly don't know. It's very hard to tell at this point. And 
so I'm currently getting a master's in public health. So I am sitting and learning all about all the pandemic information day in and day out because that's what my master's is in basically. So it's a perfect time to be in that master's field. But there's a lot of uncertainty that goes along with having to deal with something like a pandemic, regardless of which one it is or how infectious it is. There's a lot of unknowns. So the, the CDC is not teaching you, right? No, they're not. Uh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those that like looking at that stuff or what the World Health Organization, there's just a lot of inconclusive data, which is expected, honestly. People, I think, think they, they want answers now. And it's, I, I get that, but it's also very hard for them to do a decent study in less than a year. Yeah, I, I totally understand. I, I totally uh, agree with you on that. It is, um, I think I got tired of the CDC just putting their foot in their, putting their foot in their mouth every, every other week. And it's like, oh, yeah. it's this. And then they take it back and it's like, come on, there's no take backs. <laughs> I, I agree with you on that. I actually wrote a paper on that because I had to study the whole timeline of this current pandemic. And there was a lot of back and forth. And I was like, it should be one thing and you stick with it, at least for, and so there's new and relevant information out there. Because they were, at the beginning, they just didn't know enough. So they were trying to just prepare for the worst. But it's not an easy task. Or like even rephrase it, say, well, we're thinking, of, we think at this, at this moment that it's doing this but we'll let you know and we'll update you further and then you can take it back. But the way that they've been doing it is like, well, and you guys are experts. And it's like, the, yesterday I was looking for a uh, source for my, uh, for my paper I'm writing. And, uh, and I kid you not, one of the articles written by the CDC, they, a few bulleted points was not even like written in, it was written in English, but the sentence was not even dramatic, grammatically <laughs> correct. And it was like, and you guys are ranking up the first page of Google, and, like, and you guys are supposed to be experts. And it's like, I'm not saying that. Yes, but you also have to realize that I don't have obviously complete sympathy for it, but I, again, read literature on it all the time, or I'm currently reading a book about past pandemics and outbreaks and things like that. And this one has first time, um, first person accounts of individuals who are basically in charge of reacting to the problems and diseases. And yes, I agree with you that there's a lot of back and forth and stuff that makes you really question, but also remember they are people and they all have their own opinions too. Um, for like the, an example is I'm currently reading a book on Ebola and with this, Ebola outbreak that's happening in the book. There's five different experts in that field. One of them has been has worked in live outbreaks with no PPE. And so as a result of him not getting ill from it, working for days in that way, he does not agree with the need for PPE because he doesn't feel it's infectious enough, where the rest of them are getting into full biohazard suits because of how infectious it can be. So there's all those, I don't know, maybe I just have maybe a little bit more sympathy as I'm reading these things and noticing it, but they're all people and they have their own opinions and it's kind of hard sometimes I think for them to all come to a consensus, especially as research is going on and developing. Okay, I agree on you, with you on that as well. <laughs> and I get it, we all humans, we make mistakes, just, I don't know. I just think for myself is that there's like I've I've been known to put my own foot in my own mouth like mm -hmm. a few times, uh, but I don't think I've done it multiple times in a week. Uh, yeah, no, I I, agree. I I completely agree with you that it can be a little difficult, especially when they're constantly changing information. And I just can't wrap my brain around it's like. I think that's why I'm also taking a break from the news <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I don't pay that much attention to the news, so. Uh, it's it's too depressing. Yeah, oh, and it's a lot of time, honestly, if you'd want to look at it day in and day out. Uh, I'm only reading like health and wellness now and just listening to upbeat podcasts. Uh, there you go. So how are you surviving during the pandemic? 
Honestly, I think I'm doing well, uh, considering it. So at the beginning when everything closed, it gave me a little bit more time to work on projects that I had been pushing off. I was home more often, where prior to that, I was honestly never home. So that was nice. Uh, due to the gym being closed, I was able to accept a different job. So I now work at a winery a couple of days a week, which I love. I was never a wine person prior to that, but it's really, really fun to learn the science of winemaking because it's not just crushing grapes and throwing them into a bin and letting them do their thing. There's a lot more that goes into it. So it's really interesting to learn it, but also now that I've been working there for a couple months, honestly being able to like taste different wines and taste those notes or work out in the field and use that fitness strength that I have and be pulling the old vines out of the ground with my hands or with like clippers or things like that, or then taking all those picked grapes and crushing them and pressing them and putting basically starting that winemaking process. So it's been really, really fun to kind of learn a new skill and also have greater appreciation for something I knew nothing about prior to it. Uh, yeah, I, I had to say, um, at the start of the beginning of this podcast, I mean, of the pandemic, it was really, uh, I was basically on, on top of the world. And then, and then I kind of dipped into like a funk a little bit. Yeah. And then, but then I'm starting to climb back up on the top of the hill again. That's good. Yeah. So it's probably like a camel hump. Yeah, I think I dipped a little bit at the beginning, just because like my original plans for the end of my spring semester were obviously changed. I had planned to run a running race in May and do X, Y, and Z, and all of that had changed, but I also used that opportunity to do different things. I started my own podcast. I leveraged the tool of Zoom to, you know, work that podcast, but also just connect with other people, which I wouldn't have probably done otherwise and have met people all over the world as a result. I started my, uh, I started my podcast uh, earlier this year as well. I started okay. in April, April 12th, and it was the mark of Crazy Fitness Guy's third year of up and running. Awesome. That's never awesome. Th never thought I would make it to year three. <laughs> <laughs> I did it somehow. Exactly. Let's see if I can reach year four. I think you've got it. Uh, so, uh, What's your, what would your advice would be for people who are still feeling suffering from this whole pandemic and kind of depression sort of? I think honestly, just being grateful for what you have, regardless of what it is. If it is that you are still able to, I don't know, run outside or that your dog, you have extra time with your dog. I don't know. I very much try to look at the positives regardless of what's going on. And often as a result, feel that I am, the universe almost rewards me for it in a way. Like I feel that because I'm always grateful for what comes to me, more good things happen, if that makes sense. Can you teach me how to do this? <laughs> sure. <laughs> there's, there's a, uh, man, I wish we had this podcast on Monday because man, I, I was like on Monday this week, I was just kind of just feeling everything and it's like, <laughs> Oh, so no one wants to get in my way today. <laughs> uh, so uh, I was just, uh, here's a question for you. Um, what, it, uh, uh, what do you uh, see, your, uh, where do you see your business in the next, let's say five years? I don't completely know where I see it in the next five years. In the next year, I'd like to have a full booking of fitness classes each week by next fall, because it might not happen with winter and the pandemic to be able to offer classes outside. I live in New York State. It snows a lot um, so it's and gets cold, so it's not necessarily going to work to have outdoor classes. But by next year and having the summer, building that group, uh, having a full-time load of clients, still being able to work at the winery part-time, 
just because I really enjoy the connections I make there. Being able to grow my podcast, I am, I think, 35 episodes or so in that have been launched um, with a bunch still sitting in the library ready to go in the next couple weeks. So really just continuing to spread my message and teach people more about gut health, because at this point, I probably will be in school for the next five years as well. So I also know that I, it might not be completely realistic to grow it super large, super quickly. I can't believe you have 35 episodes. <laughs> yeah, I've been putting out between one and two a week. It depends. Uh, yeah, it, that's probably why, because I don't, I only do my monthly because uh, I got so much school. I have between just two classes this uh, semester, there's so much work. Like, mm -hmm. And I'm not complaining about the work. I can do the work. It is yeah. uh, on, on top of the work and, and the homework and, and uh, on top of running the, my website, the podcast, the newsletter, the marketing. I was like, I can't do everything at once. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. I mean, it was, I started with one a week. And then I realized that I had recorded like 15, 20 different episodes with different people. And so then I was like, oh, but I need to really get those out there. So I started doing two a week. And then there's some solo episodes mixed in when I feel the need to share something that way. Um, so it kind of depends on the week or like I will tell you this week I was just so busy I didn't put any out it ha it didn't happen and sometimes when weeks like that happen I use anchor for my podcast so I can actually record an entire episode on my cell phone you and me both <laughs> okay yeah and so then sometimes I'll literally be sitting at the gym and it'll be empty so I'll just sit there and record an episode on my phone and just send that out and I know it's not necessarily the same planned or interview but I still feel I'm able to put value out there and people interested. So like next week, I might honestly put out four episodes because I foresee myself having some more time to do that. Like I, uh, uh, for instance, I have a library full of, uh, well, not maybe like really full, but I have like maybe four or five episodes that I haven't put out yet, but I'm going to, but like there's sometimes there's a few months where I do like one or two per month. Like that's yeah. going to happen this month because uh, I forgot I had a doctor's appointment on Monday, <laughs> and then I have I changed my karate schedule temporarily from Monday uh, at 12 noon. So I was like, I'm this is really fun at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to uh, just take an episode from the uh, from the library, put it, uh, edit it, and send it out again. Exactly. And, uh, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, so I've been putting out a fair number of episodes, but it's also sometimes I give myself that little bit of grace, but I'm also not focusing on my website or anything like that because, uh, so my website, I, I rebranded this summer uh, for just a number of reasons. It, I rebranded to Guts and Gains Wellness this summer. And prior to that, just had had all my coaching under my name on a website that had my name on it. And uh, just it didn't feel like it was me anymore. And I was the website host that I was using. I felt like I was being limited. So I kind of transitioned off it slash also had the issue for some reason, Facebook marketed as spam. So I couldn't even promote my website or my business on Facebook. What did you use? Squarespace. Oh. So it shouldn't have been an issue, but it was. And Squarespace couldn't fix it. Facebook couldn't fix it. And I was ready to rebrand anyway, so I just rebranded. Um, but I just have a simple MailChimp landing page for the time being. That's really weird that, uh, that uh, Facebook marked your Squarespace website as spam. Yeah. I don't know. I use a Squarespace and have, maybe it was because of the There are so many ads these days wherever you go. There are ads in movie theaters, on TV, on radio, and on billboards. So why would you want to listen to ads in a podcast? Subscribe to the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast to get these exclusive benefits. Listen ad-free. Behind-the-scenes access. Access to our free Facebook community. 
and so much more. Become a premium member for only $5 per month. To learn more about the Crazy Fitness Guy Premium Podcast, go to crazyfitnessguy.com slash healthy living podcast or click on the premium podcast link in the show notes. Now let's get back to the show. Were you using a uh, customized, uh, like they gave you like a, their uh, own domain? Uh, I was using my own domain, so I'm not really sure what was triggering it, but I was ready to rebrand anyway. So I have a new domain, but for the time being, I'm just using a free MailChimp landing page if people are interested in something like that. As I um, transition, obviously, to that new domain, but I'm also going to be using a new host just because I like the opportunities the new host would provide me. Yeah, I can... I I definitely understand about uh, uh, sometimes growth space being limited, but I found a lot of workarounds uh, for a lot of different things. Yeah, so, yeah. But I just kind of like paying the little bit extra money that, uh, that if something goes down, they have to do it. And I'm, it frees me up to do a bunch of my other things because it's like, I'm not running it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I was... I just felt that because their customer service couldn't fix the spam issue, I was kind of, and I was ready to rebrand and have switch it up. I was, and a friend basically knows the founder of this other host. And it's basically, it's got no limits because you basically code it, but it's not straight code. It's like a drag and drop kind of, it's like a mix, Mm -hmm. but you have the ability to code it. So I'm in the process of learning how to use the building format they have, and then we'll start putting a website together that way. Who's your new host? Just curiosity. Webflow. Hmm. Never heard of them, but that means nothing to me. <laughs> yeah, but they're tiny. So. Uh, uh, was it like on WordPress or something? Uh, no, it's its own. It's Webflow. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's its own thing. I think it might be on the newer end. I want to say one of my mutual friends, like they're a mutual friend of theirs, like designed it. So I was like, I'll look at it. I like it. So. Uh, I, well, that's good that you found somebody, but uh, I just couldn't, uh, I was working like 90 plus hours a week on, on uh, WordPress and uh, and I did that for a whole year, and then, uh, and I remember just laying on the couch one day because I was just like, I, f- I think it was like I'm just on the weekend, and and I was just talking to my mom on the phone, and it's like, I don't think I can do this anymore if yeah, I do, no. if I don't switch, uh, switch platforms. And she's like, where where else can you go? And it's like. Oh, there's so many people, <laughs> so many yeah, companies yeah. out there, and and it's like I barely even scratch the surface. And so when I just found Squarespace, it was like the only one that could literally import all my blog posts because I didn't, even though I'm like rewriting basically all like half all of them from the beginning because they were just terribly written. <laughs> uh, and uh, if anybody sees that on my website, uh ignore those posts because they are just garbage, it's trash, it's not in my best <laughs> writing. Pay no attention to it. I'm like the Wizard of Oz, the, uh, the Wizard and Wizard of Oz. Don't pay attention to the prick guy behind the curtain. Uh, so uh, before we wrap up, uh, where can people find you? They can find me, the main two places I hang out, are on my podcast, which is currently Margaret's Healthy Hour, but in the next month, we'll be transitioning to Guts and Gains Wellness Podcast, just to match the rest of my branding, and on Instagram at Guts and Gains Wellness. Hmm. So uh, I should definitely uh, see if I can follow you on there and see. Yeah. And uh, I just, curious before we wrap up, uh, do you, uh, did I ever... I forget. Did we? Uh, did I ever ask to be on your podcast? I forget. I don't think. I think you did, but I don't think you filled out the form yet. I can resend that. Okay, I'm losing my freaking mind. It's uh, okay. I, 
I, I wouldn't even reach out to have you record with me for a couple weeks because I've got probably 15 recordings in the next no, two. That's fine. I just, uh, I just, I kind of, I've been like asking so many different people to, uh, like in the podcast group I'm in. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, uh, did, did, did I fill out this? Did I not? Fill out? Yeah, I, or I, I love, I get a message from someone. They're like, hi, I'm from the podcast group. And I'm like, I don't remember if I asked you to be on my show or if you asked to be on my, like, which way we wanted this to work. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, I'm kind of just like lost at everything. Yeah, like, exactly. Um, well, uh, let's, uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for coming on Absolutely. Uh, the show. And uh, sorry that I sent you the wrong link. Oh, no problem. It happens. Uh, Thanks for tuning into another episode of Crazy Fitness Guy Healthy Living Podcast. If you have enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or in your favorite podcast app. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast to get notified of new episodes. In the meantime, visit crazyfitnessguy.com and read the latest blog post while you wait for the next brand new episode. Hope to see you here again.